What's good, MBG Squad? Hope y'all having a blessed day. Hey, Amen. You already know. Story time, Matt in the building. Someone actually DM me on Instagram and said I should start calling y'all the MBG Squad. You know, MBG stands for Matt Be Great. Anyways, you already know if you clicked on this video, it's going to be a very, very interesting video. And recently, I did a reaction video to my basketball highlights, and I was skimming through the comment section. And all I saw was, yo, Matt, tell us why you didn't go to college. Tell us why you didn't go to college. And blah, blah, blah. So, hey, y'all want to see it? I'm a fan of the people, so I'm going to bring y'all what y'all want to see. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and leave a like for more. And as always, as always, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey, 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 it's going to be a lit video. I'm lit. I'm feeling nice. So, hey, man, if you're new to the channel, like I said, we appreciate it. If you hit that subscribe and like button. So to get into this story, we gotta throw it back to the year of 2019. If you don't already know by now, I was a senior in 2018. Now, when my basketball season came to an end, I had plenty of offers, well not plenty, I had some offers, I had two to three D1 schools looking at me, I had some D2 offers and a ton of D3 offers. But it's not as simple as me just saying no, there's a long process as to why I didn't go, I wanted to, but hey man, you're gonna have to stick it out and see why I didn't. Now. Well, let's see where I want to start with this. If you haven't watched my previous videos, you won't know this, but a lot of people, even in my hometown, didn't even know I played my senior season completely unhealthy. I was only 55 to 60% healthy. I had to wear a leg brace. It was almost miserable after the games, and I couldn't even walk the day after. So me going to college to play on a basically hurt leg without rehabbing it wouldn't be smart. And a lot of these colleges knew the same thing. So as I got to talking with these colleges at the end of my senior year, they said if I wanted to, I could take a whole year off of basketball, right? Go to a small school and focus on school, a community college or something, and I could work and train and get my leg back healthy. And then I could sign, commit, or do all that stuff the year after. So basically, if you don't get what I just said, I get to take a year off and focus on training. So like an off year or a graduate year. And that sounded really good to me because my legs were fatigued. Hold up, I'm gonna roll my sleeves, getting hot in this bed. All right. Anyways, I said it's getting hot in, this bed, hot in this building. You know the vibes. But that sounded great to me. My leg was fatigued. I needed to work out, train it, and even get better at basketball because, oh yeah, one thing I gotta address, I saw in the comment section a ton in the last video. All I saw was, yo, man, yo, shot wet, but it kind of looked strange. I told, all right. Maybe I didn't tell y'all, but I'm gonna tell you again if I haven't. I had to shoot like that. I couldn't jump off my right leg because I just had surgery on it. So that's why it kind of looked awkward. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. The shots were still going in. I was still wetting that bit. Anyways, I just had to address that. So flash forward back with our story. I was like, all right, I'm going to take a graduate year. Then I'm going to weigh my options, see who still wants me because some of the schools were like, if you don't come now, we're pulling off or blah, 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 blah. So I take a year off, I go to a small, a very small community college in uh, Northern Alabama. It's called Calhoun and yeah, things went great there. You know, I was studying, I hate school. Yeah, I, I just hate it, but I was like, I might as well, you know, just try to focus on school, get this out of the way. But what I was really focusing on was basketball. I was training all the time, working out, like lifting weights, shooting, dribbling, just everything. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't really learn how to shoot great. I was a good shooter in high school, not a great shooter. I didn't learn how to shoot great until after high school. And that's what makes me mad because if I could have learned it in high school, I would have been lethal. But it doesn't matter because I'm a YouTuber now. Anyways, so at that point in time, it's the year 2018, it's the 19. I'm at the best basketball form I've ever been in my life. Like best physically, mentally, just locked in and I'm feeling so great and around Christmas time of 2018 so heading into 2019 which wasn't too long ago this is when I started taking my unofficial and official visits to all these schools that were recruiting me and I know a lot of you want to know it's not the major but the D1 schools that were recruiting me uh, they said I could walk on now I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like what's that so basically you get a spot on the team, but they're not giving you a scholarship. And normally when that happens, it's like a preferred walk-on. They're going to offer you a scholarship in the next year. They just can't right now. There's no roster spots. And those two to three schools were UAH, Troy, and South Alabama. Now, Troy and South Alabama, 
they weren't really looking at me hard, but they were giving me the option. UAH was the one I was really leaning towards. If I don't went D1 for anything, well not anything, if I don't went D1 anywhere, it'd been UAH. I knew the coach, I went to a lot of camps, he loved me. The only reason they really didn't offer me a scholarship was because they have to have the best of the best grades there. And your boy Matt, I didn't try in high school, I ain't gonna lie. So I didn't have the highest of scores on my test. So yeah, they couldn't offer me a scholarship, long story short. Anyways, the D2 schools, there was like seven or eight. I'm not gonna name them off, they're nothing crazy. They're just, uh, they're just locally around here, like Mississippi. Georgia, small ones in Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, just all the small ones. And then 20 to 25 division three schools, but they literally offer people, you can't even get a scholarship for them. I, yeah, you can't even, they don't even pay for nothing. Anyways, so you get the gist of it. Uh, your boy Matt, you know, if I don't get hurt my junior year in high school, probably a D1 player, but since I got hurt, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't good enough to be a D1 player and produce or anything. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was solid enough after my senior year to go D2 or D3, like, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. But anyways, um, so that happens. Those are all the schools recruiting me and I'm taking all these visits and whatnot. They're going great. And I found this one school. And the reason I really loved them was because the coach was recruiting me so hard. Like, texting me every day. He's like, Matt, how you doing? How you doing? Happy Thanksgiving, happy Christmas. Just all that. Now, yeah, some of the other coaches were doing that, but not that aggressive. And that's why I loved it, because I'm an obsessive person. I want people, like, I want people to pursue me like I pursued them, you know. I don't want to play for a coach that ain't checking up on me. Why would you want to do that? And so anyways, they really stuck out to me. Took my official visit up there. It went great. They just, they made me feel at home, made me feel loved. Went to a game, I loved the team, met the whole team, roster coaches, and I made it up in my mind. I was like, that's where I wanna go. Oh yeah, I know y'all are wondering, it was Union Hill. It's a small division two up in Tennessee. So nothing crazy, but the reason, so I committed with them. The reason I committed with them was just everything I said, just loved it, felt loved, and he told me that a lot of these coaches, they will be honest with you. You know, some will lie, but I felt like they were honest with me. A bunch of the other Division Two and D1 schools I was looking at, they said, yeah, I mean, you're probably, you might play your sophomore and junior year, but you're gonna fight to get minutes. And you know, that wasn't appealing to me. They were being honest, but that wasn't appealing. But this coach said I could play as a freshman, and he was like, you fit in with the offense, we love what you're doing, we love your high school games and all that. We really feel like you can produce right away. And I never sat any time in my life. So I'm not used to coming and sitting. I started playing varsity as a freshman. So I don't want to come in and sit on college. You know, I want to play right away. I want to produce. And that's what I was looking for in a college. A lot of people look at academics, coaching staff, other, you know, all that stuff. I was looking at where can I play the fastest and most time. At. That's what I was looking for mainly. So yeah, that, that sold it for me. I was like, all right, I'm coming. Committed. All that was good. This is in 2019. This is January, January, February, 2019. Committed, did all that, but I ain't signed yet. You know, you get some time to think about it. And at the time, you know, things were good. That's all there is to it. Things were good right there. Now, this is where our story takes the craziest turn of all time. Now, at the time, right? At the time of all these events, I had a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend. She was great, phenomenal person. Phenomenal, did I say phenomenal? Phenomenal person, come on Matt, get your head in the game, son. Phenomenal person, great person. Uh, You know, she wasn't big on me going that far. The school was like three or four hours away. You know, she wasn't big on that, but I asked her, you know, I was like, if you don't want me to go, I won't go. I'll try to find a school around here. But she was, she was just so supportive. Everything you could ask for in a girl, you know. She said she preferred me to stay here, but I need to do what I want. And you know, what more can you ask out of a girl? I know a ton of girls now. They be like, nah, you can't go. No, 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 no. But shout out to her. But you know, when you get a girlfriend, I know it's no simp September <laughs> and I ain't simp them, but you know, when you get a girlfriend, you know, you wanna like weigh her options, you know, put her feelings first and stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All these people out here telling you it's no simp September, man, shut up, don't listen to them. You know, treat girls with respect. Anyways, 
So I was real stuck, you know, I didn't want to leave her. You know, she was more of a homebody, you know, so, you know, I had a big decision and, and it was hard, it was hard. But I remember I was just like, all right, we talked about it for one night, didn't come to any conclusion. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna pray and talk to God about it and see what he tells me. So I remember praying and I was just like, God, I was like, God, man, just, just please give me a sign. Show me something that tells me I should go or stay. And boy, did he send and show me a sign. So flash forward in time to two weeks, February-ish. I'm training like every day and I'm with my trainer, just warming up. I'm doing right-handed layups, left-handed layups. And we just started warming up, right? Just start warming up. I go up for a left-hand layup, boom. Fall on my left leg, not fall, but I, I catch myself on my leg, but it just snaps. As soon as I did it, I knew I tore my ACL. Now for you boys that have been tuned in for a minute, you already know, you're like, man, is this the second time? Yes, I tore my ACL twice. This is the one that completely ended it for me. No more. Well, not just yet. But anyways, so I tore my ACL and I remember, you know, the first person I texted, I texted her, I, like, I told my ACL, she didn't believe it. She's like, no way you lying. She's like, we'll talk later. And I text that coach. Now, most college coaches are gonna be like, they're gonna pull your offer. You know, they're gonna be like, I'm sorry to hear about that, but at the end of the day, it's a business. So yeah, pull your offer. But he didn't, he was like, hey man, just grind, get healthy. We'll still have your offer on the table for next season. If you wanna come now, get in with the team. You know, we'd love to have you now. And I was shocked by that because most schools, you know, they're not like that. But like I said, I feel like they really wanted me. So that's why they was holding true to their word. Get home. I ain't even been to the doctor yet, but I already tore my ACL once. So I know what it feels like. And I'm like, it's torn, it's torn. And I just remember, it was just so emotional. I got home, I just sat in my car and cried for like hours. Cause just frustrated, man. This happened twice, you know. Just all that work I've been putting in, it seemed like it was for nothing. So, you know, it, it's just frustrating. There's no other way to put it. I wasn't sad, just, I know I said it, but frustrated because all that work I put in just got taken away from me. I was in the best basketball state of mind, shape possible. Boom, got taken away from me. So at this point in time, this is in 2019-ish, February, March. At this point in time, I'm having to really, <laughs> really think things over, okay? They're holding my offer on the table. Should I still go? But, you know, I wound up, I talked to my girl about it, you know, and I just told her I felt like this was the sign, you know, this was the sign for me to stay here, you know, God, I asked God for a sign and he gave it to me. So I felt like the best, I had more, I'm gonna put it this way. There was more benefits to me staying home than to go play. The only benefit I would be getting to go play was I'd be playing college basketball and living out my dream. That's been my dream from the jump. Play division one, division two, whatever, division three basketball. I don't care if it's D6. At least I'm in college playing basketball. That's been my dream for the longest and you know, I had to put that aside. That was the only benefit. But me staying here, I got family. Uh, oh yeah, me and the girl are broken up now. I know <laughs> some of y'all are wondering, but I had the girl, uh, she was great. Uh, there was more to it here. And then the last but not least, in the back of my mind, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, if I stay here, I can start my YouTube channel. Cause I've always had a little channel and I knew I could be something on YouTube. I just really ain't had time because of basketball and stuff. I was like, if I stay here, I can start my YouTube channel and that'll carry me far in life. Like it really will. But if I go there, here's the negatives. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing college basketball, it's be cool, but I'm gonna be a broke, a broke college athlete for four years. I mean, I'm gonna get a little piece of paper that says I got a degree, but that don't really do nothing for you. You still gotta go out there and get a job. You know what I mean? A lot of people with the best jobs out there, they don't even have a college degree. And I don't even think you need college. That's my opinion. Anyways, so just got to thinking about it. And I just came to the conclusion, more benefits here than to go there. And I can start my YouTube channel and start grinding my YouTube channel. As y'all know, I post every single day. I've been grinding. So can we 
Can we get a like from Matt Grinder in the comment section? Some days we even double upload on this channel. So if you're new, what are you doing? Join the family for you, boy. I really appreciate it. It's, it's not an option. It's mandatory. You got to hit the like button and join the family. But anyways, sorry, get a little sidetracked in this mother effer. So, uh, let's get serious. Let's get serious. This is a serious video. I'll be getting sidetracked. You know me. I'm a funny little... I, I like to keep it, you know, funny every now and then. So, at that point in time... Sorry, I'm trying to think. Forgot. At that point in time, you know, I just decided... You know, I told her, I was like, look, I'm gonna stay here. But, uh, yeah, I told her, I was talking about my girlfriend. I was like, I'm gonna stay here. It's gonna be better for us. You know, you didn't want me to go. And I can start YouTube and I can just focus on college here. And, you know, she she was supportive, no matter. She was happy. She was so happy. She ain't gonna say it. She really didn't say it, but she was so happy. She was like, you're not going? Oh, that sucks. But, you know, she was like, let's... Hey, you know, you know how it is, but she was happy. She was happy. She was happy I was staying, but she would have been happy if I went. That's what was great about her. So, um, wound up not going because of that. And, well, not that. I called the coach. That was a big reason. And then I called the coach. I told him everything. And he was so disappointed because he was like, we'll still hold your offer. You know, we got you full ride and whatnot. I'm like, look, appreciate it. But there's just more benefits for me here than there is going up there. And he understood it. And to this day, we still tend to stay in touch. And that's why I respect them and that school so much. Because I felt like he didn't want me as a player. He wanted me as a person. And if you're getting recruited or you're in high school and you're about to, keep that in mind. Let Go to a school where they want you as a person, not a player. Because if they just want you for a player, they're not going to... They just want your talents, honestly. They don't really care about your well-being and whatnot. You want to go to a school like... A Nick Saban or a Coach Calipari, where they're always checking up on you. I like those guys that are great coaches, great role models. But, um, yeah, I mean, this story came to a very abrupt end. <laughs> I mean, that's about going to wrap it up. I'm trying to see if I missed out on any details. Um, So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's one little thing. So, when all this was going on, well, there's not one other thing. I'm kind of rambling. That, yeah, that's why that those, those are the two main right. Uh, those are the two main reasons as to why I didn't play college basketball. I wanted to. I was about to sign, and you know, God just had other plans for me. And it's basically we'll have to. I'll have to tell you how I got into YouTube. If y'all want to see why I started YouTube and how I got into YouTube and the whole process, let me know if y'all want to see that story time because that's an interesting one. But yeah, man. So the two main, the, to sum it up, the two main reasons, well, there's one, but kind of like 1.5. The main reason, tore my ACL for the second time. It just wouldn't be healthy for me to go out there, right, and play basketball. You know, I could risk hurt, getting hurt again. And uh, a lot of the doctors said, if uh, I go out there up at college and tear my ACL a third time, there is a high chance I wouldn't even be able to walk normally again. So I did not want to risk that. They're like, yeah, man, if you tear it again, you won't be able to even play in the kid, play in the kid, play in the backyard with your kids. I can't talk at the end of this video. But anyways, I think it's because I'm so hyped up. I don't know why. Today's a good day, man. But anyways, so... Yeah, I, I just don't think that ch that's a good chance. You know, I just want to be happy. You know, playing basketball makes me happy. But I was always fatigued, you know. Now I feel like I'm really living life. You know, I'm traveling, making content for you guys. I love you guys. I got the best. I know we ain't big, but I got one of the best fan base on YouTube. MBG squad. But let me know if y'all like that. But, uh, yeah, with all that being said, you know, the main reason I tore my ACL twice, uh, there was more benefits here. And I had a girlfriend at the time and she wanted me to stay here. Did I stay solely for her? Absolutely not. No way. Did she have a part in it? Of course. You can say it's uh, Matt Simpson, don't care. I'm just keeping it a buck. You know, she had a percentage in it, but she should because when you're in a relationship, that's how it goes. Everyone has a say so. But was she a big part in that decision? No way. No way. Just, just a smidge. I had to take it into consideration. But, yeah, man, if you're new to the channel and you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below. Uh, just, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've been showing me. Uh, if you rock with the story times, uh, let's see, what's a good like goal? You know what? 750 likes on this story time. And 
I'll tell y'all as to how and why I started YouTube or a different story time. So if y'all got more you want to see, I got a ding dong ditching one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one of my friends went crazy. Uh, there's a, we got a haunted one where I went to a haunted church and let's just say some crazy stuff happened. I got a bunch more. If y'all want to see another one, 750 likes for your boy. And hey man, with all this being said, let's be great. I'm feeling good. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm out, y'all. Peace.